So, hi guys, prep with me for my trip. So, I'm going to the Bahamas, and first step of prep is to get my nails done because it's also my birthday trip. So, here's a little nail transition. <laughs> so, these are my nails. Um, let me just show you guys from this angle because it's a little bit easier to see with the light reflecting. So, I did like a periwinkle blue purple moment with like holographic. Will you focus? Come on. Focus on me. Okay, it doesn't want to give me like the perfect focus, but whatever. Come on. Okay, there we go. No, I literally move my hand and then it goes out of focus. It's like, okay hey guys, what's going on here? But yeah, it's like holographic, purple, very, very cute. I got Gel X for the first time and I really liked it. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that you cannot like fill uh, Gel X. You have to like get it done all over again. And it's kind of expensive. I think I spent like 80 something dollars on my nails, which is pricey because yeah, it's pricey, but it's cute for my birthday, but not like an everyday every week thing. I definitely think I want to get into like press-ons that I can put on like just like randomly and then I can like reuse press-ons but I do really like how my nails are looking like right now. But I just wanted to kind of update you guys in addition to my nails on my prep for my trip. So I started doing my laundry as you can see. I have my dark colors over there. My whites are actually in the wash right now. I had some laundry that I did. I put that away and then I also started a cute ooh, excuse me. I started a cute little packing pile. So these are just pajamas and a shirt that I know I want to wear. I'm not going to be packing tonight. Tonight is actually the priority is my hair, but I just set this aside so that I don't like put it in my closet and then forget about it, but I am going to be packing tomorrow for sure. Then ignore that. That's irrelevant to the video right now. And then I also just did like a little tidy up of my room. So it's a little bit neat and it's going to be easier to like fully clean and get ready for my trip tomorrow. And I also set aside, um, I picked some books that I want to read during my trip. So this is my favorite book of all time be treated by emily henry and then these three books are books that i have not read that i want to read during my vacation so they're all romances but these two definitely give me summer vibes every summer after and one true love by taylor jenkins reed but check and mate is a book that has been on my tbr for a while and i've heard really good things about it so i'm going to read this on my trip so these are the books that i picked out for be treated but the priority for tonight, even though it is 11.38 p.m., is to do my hair. So I have, I have a vision. I have a vision. Are you guys seeing this? I have a vision. And this is actually the first time that I'm doing my hair by myself. And it's also, well, not the skin blurring. I'm kind of not obsessed with that. But anyways, this is the first time I'm doing my hair by myself. And it's the first time that I'm doing my hair by myself with nails. And it's the first time that I'm doing this style like ever. So a lot of factors kind of working against me right now. But we're going to try. We're going to try to get it done. And we're going to see how it goes. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. So the goal is to get like the back section of my hair done and see like if we like how it looks do we like the vibe that it's giving and if we don't then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna wait until tomorrow because my mom comes home tomorrow and she's gonna help us fix the hair if it doesn't turn out right how i have my vision but if it does turn out then i will continue it i will pause go to sleep and then continue in the morning tomorrow we have a steep to-do list but we're gonna get it all done because i got most of my weekend homework done today with the exception of like one thing so i am confident that we're gonna get everything that we need to get done before this trip done and we have to do it all tomorrow and we leave really really early on monday we leave at like five in the morning i don't know why i didn't just get us like a sunday night light or something but yeah we leave really early in the morning on monday so i have to finish everything on my to-do list by tomorrow but it's okay because we're gonna do it and it's gonna be great and you guys are gonna see everything so let's go <laughs> So I was, is this the widest you can go? Dang. Okay. So I was only supposed to go into my mom's room for, if I can find my other arm under here, these rat tail combs before I went into the shower. And then I got distracted, as you can tell. And I am now gonna give you a haul of everything that I have borrowed from my mom's closet. Actually, this is mine. So you can see she borrowed this for me. I bought this in, I think I bought it in Cozumel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought it in Cozumel. So definitely excited to actually wear this out. I didn't, I forgot that I bought this too, quite frankly. 
but yeah i got it it's very cute actually like it's really really cute i think this is a cute vacation bag but yeah so this is the first thing that i took back from my mom and then my mom's closet is a treasure trove this is all pieces from the bags are all like vintage thrifted pieces so i love digging in her closet for things before i like i go shopping so this is a bag that she got in hawaii it's very cute she's probably gonna take this on vacation so i'm just putting it in my room because i'm probably gonna be helping her pack tomorrow when she gets home and then we got this cutie i'm just buckling her up with one hand this is like a what is it called like a picnic well it's not a picnic basket but i have used it as a picnic basket in the past and it is like a cute just like white what do you call this material like woven basket material i forget what it's called but yeah so like this is beach vibes like you can't tell me you don't look at this bag and you think of the beach because you do and then we have this other bag which is also in this like woven texture basket material i do not i cannot for the life of me remember what this material is called okay i'm gonna put some stuff down because using one hand is kind of getting ridiculous right now this bag if i can remember oh it's not supposed to be like this because it's supposed to have like a flat base this is also a really cute beach bag and i feel like the perfect size for just like your sunscreen your book your phone your sunglasses your hat everything can fit in here for the beach then we have another vintage-esque bag not vintage-esque definitely vintage um <laughs> it's again with the same cannot remember like straw no it's not straw but it's like <sighs> anyways whatever also very cute a little bit bigger than all the other ones like taller so you could fit more stuff like if you were working at a cafe like a beach cafe and you wanted to like take your computer or something with you this would be the bag that you would bring because i'm pretty sure this bag could actually fit in the computer okay my computer is just no it actually probably could fit my computer then we have hats i knew my mom had hats so i wanted to go through her closet and like try on her hats before i buy any of my own because we're all about sustainability over here if we don't need to buy it we don't need to buy it so this is a hat for my mom from joe fresh <laughs> from my mom's closet from a store called joe fresh okay i'm just gonna take off my bun my bun's a little high for wearing a hat i have to have like a really low bun or basically be wearing a hair down in order for a bun for a hat to work on you so here it is okay this is the perfect floppy hat because you can like barely see my face when i have this on <laughs> But I don't love the red detail, but it is cute. Like if my mom doesn't want to wear this during a trip, I would cop just for the for the sun protection. Like I feel like this would also provide like good shade, like when you're reading a book. Cause like look, like you can't even <laughs> you can't even see my face in there. And don't mind my hair. My hair needs a wash, <laughs> and it needs some TS TLC. It's been in that bun for no, it's only been in that bun for like two days. But the tangles, yeah, we need to get in the shower. ASAP, no Rocky, but. <laughs> Next hat is very cute, but also doesn't really provide you great sun protection. I've actually, my mom brought this on our last kind of beachy vacation when we went on a cruise, which it's like cute, but it has like mesh like in between. So that makes it cuter, but the mesh means it's not really providing you that much sun protection. So this is like an aesthetic sun hat. This is from the Charter Club. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a link to any of these products or similar stuff for you guys. But yeah, here she is. Thumbnail moment. Okay, I think I got a thumbnail or hopefully um but yeah this one's cute the label's kind of falling off though so in like three years probably won't know where it's from anymore and then this one is from universal threads this is actually i think this is a hat that i bought last time um because i wore this hat in again the cruise and this one's very cute it's also a nice floppy hat and i love that it has like um like a little what do you call this like anchor or something so your hat doesn't like fly away but i i feel like i wish it was floppier like the other one like it's just very wide brim but not quite floppy enough for me but it does cover my whole entire forehead within the hat so kind of a plus but it's just not floppy like it's wide brimmed 
But yeah, that is my quick, oh wait, no, I forgot some other things that I borrowed from my mom's room. Okay, okay. I also borrowed her mouthwash. I got this mouthwash for her. She hasn't told me how she liked it because if you were on TikTok at all ever, you have seen this mouthwash. Everybody talks about it, everybody raves about it, and I have not tried it. Even though like she asked me for a mouthwash recommendation, I gave her this even though I had never tried it. I just knew that like a lot of people liked it. So it's like half used, but she hasn't said a single word about it. So I don't know whether that means she loves it or she hates it or she just has forgotten to tell me whether she likes it or not and then also another thing of mine that i had left in her room this cute little necklace that i got from etsy which i will have linked below all the products that i can link below i will link for you guys it's just a lot of these products are vintage and um this is a vintage-esque necklace this is actually a vintage-esque necklace the seller literally says like it's vintage style or vintage inspired or whatever but yeah that is what i got from my mom's room okay let's stop procrastinating getting into the shower and actually get into the shower okay so uh, uh. okay so i realized i'm just gonna have to have you guys near the light source in order for me to film this video and not get pissed off at my camera so what happened is my camera was i like put a filter on my camera like an internal filter i don't know how it happened it must have happened when i was trying to do one of those cool laundry scenes that you guys saw earlier and then i could not figure out how to turn it off or like change it or whatever so i had to reset all of the settings in my camera to like factory settings so it could go back to normal but since it's in factory it also is not the settings that i set it to because like when i first got my camera i like watched a bunch of youtube videos and like picked the settings that i wanted to change based off of the youtube videos that i watched like people said like change this i saw how it looked on their video and then i decided if i wanted to change it or not anyways right now we're going to figure out parting so right here i have my camera my camera what my computer with photo booth open and i'm going to use this as like my viewing and then i'm going to how do people do this okay wait hey, wait i think i cracked the code yeah so like right there well you guys can't see it but i'm gonna show you in a second so just like that this is how i'm going to part my hair so let's get into this parting shall we I feel like I just ruined. <gasps> what the f This is hard as hell. She's getting so dangled already. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna hold this top part into loose-ish bun. And then, but of course, this is a lot better. Because now, actually, even here, I can go in and see. so much harder how do the girls be doing this because yeah honestly it's pretty decent and i want them to look like natural so i'm not like too worried about parting because i do want them to give effortless natural chic and i got these clips now you can see my oh i was saying this in the shower i wasn't even saying it to you guys but i was talking about how my natural hair is a lot thicker at the top than it is at the nape. Oh, come on, why does it hurt to push this clip through? So we got our back section. You see, my back section is like the thickness of one of my front sections. Now we're gonna reference, so we're referencing, oh my God, it's already 1 a.m. Okay, we're gonna be asleep at two if this isn't working. What is happening is we're referencing this TikTok tutorial. Let's um, talk about how I part my hair when I'm yeah so she parts rows and then she doesn't even worry about anything else i don't even know how i'm gonna part a row i don't i don't know y'all <laughs> this is so hard okay anyways let's start by doing our little uh middle part try to make that okay i don't know what that was but i'm just gonna ignore it so here's the section that we're doing and i want them to be like medium size like not 
too small, but not too big either. So, okay, this clip is way too big for that section. Let me get the smaller clips out here. So, for our rows, I'm just gonna go in and do something and see what happens. Yeah, that was terrible. Okay. Our first section done. Ah! That took way too long. Okay, so now she says that she just free parts this. So, I'm gonna start, I guess, from here or no i should start where i can see so i'll do like this big of an air section just this away in its own little clip as well my hair is gonna be full of clips okay so this is my hair slay you want to do a little length check moment my hair is almost nipple length about an inch away from nipple length we're getting there eventually. Anyways, yeah, so we're doing, as you can see, kind of a decently big section, like it's not small. Then we have the hair. This is the hair that we're using. I have never done this on myself before. I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see. Okay, so the first thing we're starting by doing is wetting the hair. That much leave-in. Okay, sorry, quick intermission. Just had to change the SD card because I am running out of space. But yeah, leave-in conditioner, just enough to literally condition the hair. So this is about the amount that I used my first go around, but I'm also gonna get a little bit more in here because she is feeling a little dry. So I wanna make sure that she is nice and moisturized before going into the braid. Like so, like that. And then we're gonna go in with some mousse. Kind of put a lot, but it's okay. And this is gonna help create some hold in our hair. Okay. And now, final thing is some shine and jam. So, this is like the gel that like every person on TikTok that I saw with a mini twist, spring twist tutorial was using. So, it must be good if everybody's using it, right? 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 So I'm focusing this on my roots. Shine and Jam, that is. Um, which I find quite interesting indeed. Um, but yeah, okay. So there's this. Just wanna make sure it's all up in there. Then, what the tutorial said is you take one bunch, so they're all like in a bunch, and you just take one, and then she said you split it in half, and then you split it in half again. And then this is the hair that we're gonna use for the section. And then what she did is she did, not like an over under method, but I don't know what you'd call it. I'm not very good at explaining how to braid, so you came here for a tutorial. This is not that, my dude. This is just me attempting to do something that I've never done before in my life, which is braid my own hair. Okay, wait. Did I actually do this? Okay, but it's really loose. I gotta go back and fix it because my mom was like, don't make your hair too tight, but I think I made this one a little too loose. It's because all these clips around me are kind of impeding my gripping. I can actually braid pretty damn well with these nails in, which is quite surprising to me. The grip was not gripping. The grip was not giving, but the braid was. Oh, come on. The hair knotted already at the top? Okay, whatever. We'll just make sure that that's our starting point. Anyways, yeah, uh, I need to remove the clips because the clips are just getting in the way. So we will clip this up here. And then this clip, we're just going to push her up a little bit more. And then this clip over here, we're going to clip into this side so that nothing is in our uninterrupted braiding. Then we're gonna get in some more shine and jam in here. Make sure we're not picking up any hairs from somewhere else. Then I'm gonna do this. So the best way I can describe how I braid is I'm gonna do an under over method. So you put the braiding hair under your hair, grip down, put the hair over your hair, keep gripping because it's still, you still haven't created the initial meld. Initial meld has not been created yet. You keep gripping, keep gripping, making sure we're not picking up anything else from somewhere else. Grip. And by now, we should be pretty snug. Let's see though, pretty snug and not too loose, I don't think. Okay, now we've done our braid about that much down. Then our hair is in the center. So this is my real hair, these are the extensions. Then the tutorial said to 
part the hair and then hold on i gotta look at what she said oh i used my new mousse when i have i have a little bit of old mousse too so we're just gonna get some of that in there so this is about where my natural hair is starting to end so that's why i put the mousse there honestly it looks pretty good like i mean i can't really see yeah it looks decent like obviously you can kind of see some of my my hair at the top kind of trying to peek through but for my first time and with extensions nail nail extensions i am honestly pretty impressed with this so the ends are a bit scraggly, but it's okay because it's nothing a little mousse won't fix. I know the lady in the video, you guys heard, she just cut the scraggly ends off, but just a little mousse and you should be good to go on your way. So I did right over left, just like she said, right hand over left hand. So this should twist up really nicely. Word. I think she's, she's in there. She's in there pretty well. Okay. And honestly, I kind of got the knotless thing. I mean, you can kind of feel the knot, but it's it's pretty damn knotless. Okay. Okay. okay it, why is it like this though? Because that's kind of pissing me off. How it's like not laying flat completely, but over time it should be fine. Okay. Wait. We actually got the first flat done. So now let's try to finish these back two sections. So I will come back to you guys once I have finished this side over here and then I'll come back after I finish this side over here with any updates. Okay, let's go. So editing Mariana here again. I just realized that like after I finished filming this clip, I just went to bed. Like I do not remember what happened. I think I finished the back row. So obviously my hair is out now, but in that time I finished the back row. I wasn't happy with like how the tension was. So I waited for my mom to come home and then she helped me finish the rest of it and so that's it for part one of this video because i realized i have a lot of footage and i have enough time to go through all of it and make it like a longer video and also me personally i don't really watch videos like that are like over 30 minutes long so i wouldn't want to make a video for you guys that is over 30 minutes long because i wouldn't watch it myself so i just decided to make this video like 20 ish minutes and then the next video is going to be like 15 ish minutes so i hope you guys are okay with that i mean we're gonna have to fix it because it's happening but yeah thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed and you're not already subscribed be sure to subscribe and like and comment below i'll see you guys in my next video bye